Need fast, cheap, reliable MUD coins? Go to MMOXP.com for the cheapest coins on the market. And use discount code MONEYSHOT for an additional 5% off your next order. Link in the description below. <laughs> Welcome back, YouTubers and Madden fans. This is Mad Money Shot. Sniff out the Madden cheese as always. Got a run scheme for you guys today. This is a run scheme that has been my go-to run scheme for a couple of weeks now. I'm using the Packers playbook. If you guys don't know, that's my favorite playbook right now. But this is also going to be in the Titans. It's a super rare formation. I think it's only in those two playbooks as far as I know. And it's the single back doubles wide off. This might be a new formation in Madden 21. I don't know if it was in Madden 20 or not. But it's super rare and, like I said, super glitchy. So in the original video, I only really went over two particular run plays i'll put a link in the description below if you guys want to see that in the gameplay format uh but this video i'm going to expand on that i'm going to show you guys because like i said i've been running it since it's been my go-to formation every single game when it starts this is the first formation that i set up in the first run plays that i use and i use them throughout the entire game if you watch yesterday's gameplay video uh for example you'll see this play quite a bit but ultimately i had to expand on this because i really didn't have a ton of great passing plays however many plays i show in this video i will have additional plays to this scheme on my patreon or on my join now community or in my ebook all that stuff link in the description below so it's really up to you guys if you want to run uh you know if you want to get the additional stuff that's the formats that have that but for now we're going to go out, we're going to set up our run plays uh, like I was saying, I always set up the the this the first one is the stretch alert bubble. The second one is real simple. It's the L1 trap. Those are the two big dogs. Uh, the rest of these plays are going to be uh, pretty consistent, but those are the ones that I use the most. Those are the ones you see me running nonstop in my gameplay videos, and nobody's had an answer for that up to this point. Uh, the next play is going to be the jet sweep, and then the last play is going to be the power alert bubble. All four of these plays are really, to an extent, I mean, none of them are just straight run plays. They're all kind of either either RPOs or kind of trick plays and it's really going to give your your offense uh, a full scope of all the things that you can do. Before I get this video I just wanted to say that this video is brought to you by my coin sponsor MOXP.com. If you guys uh, have had success buying coins through them leave a comment in the comment section letting everybody know how good they are and that's an easy way to get your comment pinned in one of my videos. Uh, if you guys support them you're supporting me so if you want to support this channel in any way other than likes, shares and comments and stuff like that which I also am going to ask for right now um, that's a good way to do that and like i said if you buy your coins through them and use my discount code uh they'll continue to support me so i really appreciate all the the love you guys give me so let's go and let's get right into the reads this first play is going to be a really simple read uh when it comes to what i'm looking at like i said these are the two big plays the stretch alert bubble the l1 trap these are the two plays that i use the most and it's a single read play on a, on a defense like this i could really run either one but the best read is going to be the l1 trap now the l1 trap is going straight forward towards the center but that's not necessarily where the hole is going to be. The hole can be uh, either either straight ahead where the center is, or you're going to either make one cut to the left or the right, depending on uh, which gap over the guards opens up. But they're all pretty much going to open up. You're going to see, I mean, I have had people, when I put the original video out, they were asking me, like, was I sprinting right away, or was I doing this, was I doing that? i got to be honest with you, I'm pretty much walking straight forward and hitting the guns a lot of times. Now, they only got about five or six before the hole closed up. So now we have a defensive look without a doubt. I mean, this is only the second play. I'm glad I ran into this. This is something when you have a spaced, evenly stacked alignment like that, like a five, like a five defensive look like this in the box. Um, typically, a three through five like this will give this particular series problems. But there's a good solution for that, and that's the jet sweep. So this is what was not in my original video. This is probably the best. Uh, answer for something like this for a defense like this like a 335 or a 326 uh, double a gap stuff like that that really packs the box neither one of these plays really works too well but the sweep does so we're gonna go we're gonna pick that like i said i didn't expect to go over this so soon but you can see how it just goes right outside of all the garbage so there's no real um you know answer for this scheme so I didn't anticipate using the sweep so soon, but you can see once again, we have another stack box look. So this is a scenario where once again, uh, I think the best option is going to be to run this sweep. Now, if this guy gets off the edge free, it's a completely different story. But you can see when you combine these three concepts, there's really going to be nothing that can stop this. So once again, we're getting a lot of looks like this. Um, this is not necessarily something, like I said, I can run the O1 trap. I will run it again. The O1 trap can have success, but like I said, I've noticed that this particular defensive look really bottles this up so you see right there not having it but like i said without a doubt the top three plays now are these three plays so here we have another look where we kind of have something favoring uh the the trap which like i said is probably the best play the stretch is a very good play but you can see how the gaps just open up and you just have a monstrous lane right over the middle 
So it's like I said, it's a really simple read. If you have spacing, if you have wide gaps uh, in the middle of the of the defense like you don't have here, the Owen trap's going to be the look. There's no gaps here. The stretch alert bubble's not going to be a good look on a play like this. Once again, we got the jet sweep. This is the type of defensive front where the jet sweep is going to have the most success. Uh, and then trying to take it outside. I mean, you can see I don't have necessarily the fastest guy out here. They really only have one great receiver in Green Bay, but you can see we're having a lot of success. The last look, which I'm not really getting the look that I want, so I'm just going to run it, is the stretch alert bubble. The stretch alert bubble is really best uh, if this defensive lineman outside of Lewis here is a little bit closer in. But I'm not getting that look, so I'm just going to run it. And then, like I said, you can have a lot of success. These stretch plays, they're not really dead. They just don't work to the outside as well as they have in the past. Um, that's the only thing. You can still run it, uh, but this is not really, like I said, I'm not really getting the defensive alignment that I want. So I'm just going to go ahead and run it a couple times. You can see if that tight end gets a good block, you can still have success. You're just not getting past the cornerbacks. That's the thing when it comes to this patch. Uh, like right here, this is another scenario I'd probably run the stretch because we have a, we now have a seventh defender in the box. I only have six uh, blockers, and my tight end is further out than that defense than that defensive uh, end there. So I can get this edge here with no problem. Although you can see the blocking there didn't really hold up, but that's ultimately going to be the two looks you're looking for when it comes to the stretch play. So here we got double blitzing safety. This is another look where you want to use a stretch alert bubble. I've noticed that when you have aggressive, uh, you know, pressed or blitzing uh, defenders, like, like a real stack box, a lot of times the stretch will just get outside of it. So I'll go ahead and I'll go with that stretch alert looky. I'm not guaranteeing that it'll have a lot of success, but you can see based off the fact that they're really crashing down hard, it almost looks like they're run committing, and then you can get really easily outside. I've had that happen a lot in games. Like I said, if you see my gameplay, you've seen that. Um, that's a really good look. So you can see there's several different looks when it comes to the stretch alert looky. So going over the reads really quickly just to make sure that I'm, I'm as concise and clear as possible. Uh, when it comes to the 0-1 trap, that's probably the easiest one. The 0-1 trap, uh, you really only do the 0-1 trap when it comes to um, you want to if you have gaps. If you have a spread defensive alignment with multiple gaps and no more than six de or six box defenders because you have six blockers. If you have seven box defenders, you can't run that play. If you have an overly aggressive blitz, the stretch alert look is going to be the way. Uh, but once again, a, a concise, packed uh, defensive alignment like this can't really have success when it comes to stretch alert bubble. If you have a packed box like this with no real gaps, the jet sweep is going to be the best way to go. So those are your three plays that you're going to want to run the most. And those are going to be the three plays uh, that you use uh, the most consistently. And this is, you know, you can see how if you, if you go off this read, it's really easy to run these three plays. So I'm going to end the video there. Um, I'm going to save the pass plays for uh, for my Patreon and for my Join Now community. And if you guys want to see a part two for this, you want to see the pass plays for this because I ultimately made this video because I had the lab pass plays for myself. Hit the like button. Let me know in the comment section. I'll make sure to put that out in a few days. Other than that, thanks for watching, man. Wish it out. Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team, where you can get exclusive content like eBooks and bonus plays, as well as early access to my vids and more. Link in the description below.